you mentioned like 90% of the big tech companies that we all know and use and certainly would be aware of were customers. Yep. What's the secret to selling to a Fortune 500 giant? I think there's a couple of things. One is straight up grit, persistence, not taking no for an answer would be the first thing. In fact, I had this little thing that if I hired you as a salesperson, you had to you had to read the Green Eggs and Ham book as part of your onboarding. And the whole it's not it's not really a sales book, but it is a sales book. But the whole point of that thing is that you're gonna have to go through a shit ton of knows and a thousand different objections, but you have to keep asking and then eventually, you know, eventually you'll find something. So that's so that's one, just grit, perseverance, whatever you want to call it. Um, the second, the second is a willingness to listen. And what I mean by that is, you know, in our business, we would ask questions first before trying to share, this is what we do. We would ask, you know, what are you doing with your training? How does it working in the past? Is it, is it helpful? Do you see the outcomes? Like, so we would try to ask a lot of questions to just understand truly what the problem was. So listening, I would say is the second. And then the third is you need some anchor client that is, you know, in the same network. It's like, you know, if you're trying to sell to Ford and all of the customers that you have are three person small businesses, Ford's not going to look at you as a realistic vendor. So you, you have to you have to figure out how to get get one flagship that you can leverage. 